Hi, this is Jeff with the IT department. I'm here to talk to you today about Millennium Fast and the training that we have for the new finance module that was recently purchased to replace uh, BI Query and Cognos on campus. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to know is how to get to Millennium Fast, and the web address for that is fast.eu.edu. So go ahead and type that into your address bar in any browser that you want. So here I am at a uh, browser. I'm just going to go ahead and type fast into the address bar. As you can see, it gives you a username and password. And basically, you're going to use your banner credentials to log into fast. So let me get mine entered. And now you're logged into fast. And if you're curious what uh, applications you have available over here on the application side we have two modules currently one is the finance uh, reporting module that we just recently purchased so like I said to replace uh, by query and Cognos the other is a module we've had for a while it's called student reporting so if you need to pull reports on students you can so, and if you have permissions for that in banner already you'll see it in your applications uh, section and as you can see I have permissions for both but we're going to go ahead and launch the finance reporting here just by clicking on it now the first report I'm going to show you is basically just an index balance. This is a good report for any budget managers, everybody wants to know how much money they have in their index. So I'm going to use one of IT's index codes as an example. And basically this is just called an operating statement. So we hit enter here. Basically this is just pulling for this month. You can see I have $19,000 available. And it basically shows what the year to date actual was. And if you ever want to filter it, you can go to the section filter options. And uh, you've got various options on the index and what you want to change. I mean, I'll put in another index code just to show you an example. And I'll change the fiscal period. We can go to year's end, we can go to another month. Let's check out April, for example. And as you can see with that account code, that's how much we had, and that includes our payroll, of course, and how much budget we had available. So, And to get back to where you started, just go back to finance reporting. Now the second report I'm going to show you is just a little different. Basically it's an index balance with details, which I think probably a lot of you want to see. So I'm going to give another index code and down here I'm going to change the report to a trial balance. And then I'm going to run it. And I'm going to execute the report. As you can see, this particular index has all the line items and year-to-date and, and the variances here. So this may or may not be helpful to you. You can also sort based on uh, uh, account codes by simply clicking up here, sort ascending, and then it reorganizes the report for you. And the last report I'm going to show you just real quickly is a transaction detail. Basically, this replaces uh, uh, both the balance index with details and the transaction details replaces a couple of uh, reports in Banner. This one and we'll just select transaction details. Here once again you can change any of the filter options if you want. I'm just going to leave it with this month. This is the transactions that we've had for just the month of June. And if you need, you can always save your report. You have the options of naming it, saving it as. You can make a graph available on the dashboard, make a grid available on the dashboard. You can exit out of that. Or, of course, you can make them a PDF or an Excel file. Just by clicking that, it turns it into a PDF. Pull it up. And that's what it looks like. 
And if you need some help or you have any questions about Millennium Fast, you can check out our tutorials online at uh, www.ueu.edu slash fast. You can also send us an email at infosys at eu.edu, or you can call the help desk at 541-962-3111. Thanks so much for watching.